huge outing today. It's, that's in the other day. You came in in a pressure situation. It was another pressure situation. You know, you couldn't really give up any more runs to come back. And you got all three outs with a runner on third. What's, what's kind of going through your mind when you, you enter the game in a situation like that? Uh, I think it's going back to my old self. I like, just trust in myself. Like, I put in the work. Like, just stop doubting myself. Just keeping that, like, at the end of the day, like, no matter what, how much work I put in, like, it's going to pay off no matter, like, if I'm going through a slump, which I was at the beginning of the season. Uh, I think that's pretty much what, I, what my mindset is out there. Just keep attacking. How much, myself. how much you enjoy being in moments like that where you come in the game, run on third, no outs? Uh, that's probably like biggest moment of my like, college career. I have never been in the back end of the game, so I think that's like that's nothing new to me, but I definitely love it. And confidence soaring after the outing Tuesday at Stetson as well. Talk about that outing. Uh, that outing was um, a huge one because um, I was working on some stuff with uh, Coach Mike. Uh, shout out to Coach Mike, it's a couple of the guys, um, Rudy Gomez, uh, Cam Crane, Julian Bowser, like Vieira, Vest, uh, Vieira. Those guys helped me like get back to myself, like some cues that I was missing, like some things I was like falling off, keeping on like my posture on the mound. Uh, those guys helped me out with that. So like going into Tuesday, I felt a lot better with that situation. And I was able to get out of there, like stay true to myself, and like the results are starting to show. And you carried that over today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said you were. You said yourself, like you kind of felt like maybe you were slumping at the beginning of the yes, season, sir. but you're coming off two of your best outings of the entire year. I mean, yes, what's working for you now? How much more comfortable are you feeling out there? Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable just getting like the mound work. Like just the appearances are helping. So I'll say that a lot. Um, what's working for me is like landing the off speed, like. Trust in my, my fastball plays pretty much. Just like landing the all speed for strikes is a huge thing right now. So this is this is your first save for you since your second appearance with FGCU back in 2021. What did it mean to you to be able to go out there in this kind of situation and get a save again? Uh, this was huge, um, especially uh, going to high school in the area. This is like school that I always wanted to go to. So I was, that's definitely like something huge for me. Um, being at FGCU, that was that was a rough like patch of my year where like I was coming out of the pen for the first time and it was hard to like get a groove or get like a routine. But now I like, like truly buying into it, like truly trusting that process and like accepting my role, I would say is a huge part of that. What what how what do you think made you really accept accept that role and how big was that to be able to get you where you are now? Uh, accepting the role was pretty much easy coming here. Uh, we got some great starters with Jacob Marlow, uh, Rudy Gomez and um, Dominic Sags. And Cam Blatter, so like those guys, those guys are gonna go the six innings. I, like, I know that. I just know my part is now is a smaller role, but it's very much more detailed. Where you have to, you know, I have to come in for two innings, three innings, just put up zeros, and that's pretty much easy job. What do you think of Kramer's outing, especially when he came into the game a little bit earlier than you uh, usually see? I think that was the most important like part of the game, where we're down five runs and he's able to come in and just hold the game to like hold the hold the lead we had or the the game, the game like together, they had five runs. So him holding down that, giving our team a chance to score, like get back in the game. Obviously Kramer's gonna do what he's gonna do. He's consistent, like you know what you're gonna get from uh, Kyle Kramer, so. What do you think work with you, with you guys on the mound today? Because 17 strikeouts between the three of you. Uh, I think it's the, the game plan. We knew the game plan was to uh, elevate. Um, we've been going in and out a lot, but up and down starting to work a lot for us. Even the series against ECU, the last game on the, Saturday, played one game. Um, we started to get, implement the game plan of going up and down, and that's starting to like show. Also, we're going east and west. So, you, so you go again, you go against Stetson again this Tuesday, and then you have another shot at USF on on the road. What do you think you guys can do that do then and improve over the last result against them? Against USF. Yes. Uh, USF. I think um, just everyone's just buying in, trusting their roles, like just keep swinging it, like. We're down, no matter if we're down or not, like our offense is good enough to like come over, come, overcome any deficit we're facing. So. Great, thank, thank you. you. Good luck, thanks. Thank you. Um,